All right, we're taking a second stab at this Go Hard Ezreal deck. So one of the problems that I had with the deck that I felt that it had when we played it yesterday was that I felt that it didn't have enough bodies uh, to put on the field, primarily in the aggressive matchup. I felt like we were just getting run over by aggro most of the time just because we didn't have enough blockers. And so I was looking at a way, one of the ways we could solve that. And so I cut away some of the more clunky, awkward cards that I felt that were, were in the deck, and I replaced them with Doom Beast. Doom Beast, I think, slots really well in this deck, much like it does in other Go Hard shells, uh, like the Twisted Fate version, because not only is it a body uh, to, to gum up the board against aggro, and also keep our life total, like buffer our life total a little bit with its uh, Nightfall trigger, on the reverse, when we're looking to be aggressive against decks that are going bigger than we are, that are being more controlling than we are, it also serves as a, a decent amount of pressure and or reach due to its Nightfall ability. So the fact that it can play kind of both sides uh, when depending on when you need it, I, th I think is valuable. So I replaced, like I said, three of the cards that I felt just kind of made the deck feel a little bit more awkward with the Doom Beast, and I'm, I'm curious to see how they feel today. So we're going to play, you know, a few matches with this at least and see how it feels. I was having a lot of fun with the last easy Ezreal deck that we were playing, so we want to try try the revision, the, that one minor revision to this deck and see how it feels now. I want to play like a probably a handful of matches, and then we'll call it a, we'll call it a day. So it all looks pretty good except for that, so we'll dump we'll dump it. Zonite Urchin obviously would like to find one of our three jury rigs to discard to it, but if there's something expensive or like clunky awkward, maybe even this rummage is fine to actually get rid of. We'll just cycle this, hopefully get in two points of damage. It's unlikely, but we'll try. So I'm not gonna run our 2-1 into their 1-1. We have these go-hards for that to deal with these. I might actually uh, Elise though, so we get a decent open attacks on our next turn, create a 1-1's fighter. Depends on what they do. The Bastion border from here. For the homestead. I actually think I'll take this trade. Eh. Do I have to? No, I don't think so. The two damage is going to be negated by this, and like, who knows? This two one could end up being more valuable sometime later in the game. We could use a bite. If they somehow have a way to pump like one of their units so they can trade with our Elise, we'll just hit it with the Mystic Shot. <gasps> How dare you! I think I want to start getting some Go Hards in our deck, so I think I will just hit this. that and I don't want to take another two damage if I can avoid it. I'm not really sure what our opponent's doing. I'm assuming because of the fact that they only have one champion and they're with within Freljord, I'm assuming they're in, they're playing Entreat alongside Maokai. So maybe they're like trying to mill us out. Maybe that's their plan. Or maybe they're playing kind of a um, some type of a they who endure sort of variant. I'm kind of interested to see what they're up to. Progress day isn't bad if this game looks is looking to go long, which it could very well be. It's kind of awkward alongside our already very expensive hand. Like two vengeance is kind of a lot. Corruption everywhere. Do I just Ping something just so I can use my mana more efficiently this turn. Like, I could just go hard this. Because we're probably vengeancing the Maokai, right? Then again... How much resources do we have next turn? We have exactly enough to kill him. for now. 
there could be a reason. Like, if they have another Maokai, then at some point it could be that I want to hit their um, their sapling that they create from him just to, like, ensure that he can't kill one of my units. I'm definitely going to just try to kill Maokai here. Like, we, we have nothing else to do with our mana. It's clearly an important card in their deck based on the fact that it's their only champion. Uh, so let's just kill it. And I guess I could also progress day. We have, a, we have a lot of mana for that. Maybe that's what I want to do, actually. Just progress day and then use these vengeances sometime later. Uh, okay, now there's an argument for actually going Mystic Shot and Go Hard on the... on the weirding stones someone in chat can like tell me if this is pronounced weirding stones or wording stones i'm pretty sure it's weirding but i could be wrong about that let me know in the comments below this will i will make a video on youtube later if you're watching this on youtube later let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon um is that worthwhile? Because I kind of want more Go Hearts to get in the deck ahead of Progress Day anyway. And this like slows him down slightly, so. I don't think I'll play the Zonite Urchin. I have a feeling like we'll want both of these vengeances. Vengeances? Vengeances? Vengeance is is. I'm so sorry. I promise I won't do that often. Please, please don't unsubscribe. Please don't leave my channel. I need you. Okay, we'll just pass. Now we might. If we find a jury rig, then we have enough mana to actually, uh... Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, where's the card draw from this? Does he actually have no five-cost units? We'll do this so we can't hit our stuff. Look out there. You gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. I think I want to do this and then sack her. Could also Vile Feast finish this off. And then we have we can actually attack with Elise the following turn. I, mean, I think I like that. That's not bad. Let's do that. We must all make sacrifices. Oh, I guess I should have done that post combat because I'd be up at I'd be at nineteen health. You won't suffer long. So that was a mistake. Attacking with both spiderlings might also be a mistake. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have attacked with the other one. I was like, if he's going to block one, he's going to block the other, right? Yeah, but I actually would have preferred a 1-1 one, one blocker to be held back, just in case. Whoopsies. You dare. So he knows we have pack, 
pack your bags in our deck. Oh, that's what he's up to. Okay. Gotcha. I've played this game before. So we're definitely packing our bags here, right? Well, I, I just put that on the stack. He knows we have it, right? Watch him have a way to protect these somehow. And when we're just we're just super F. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I'm having fun. Easy open attacks here. I wonder if they have like Withering Whale to save himself some points of life. They do have a lot of cards in hand still, so if they have like Withering Whale here, it definitely buys them a lot of time. Oof, now that's an Ezreal. Are they just dead? They are, right? They don't know what they're up against. Yeah, they are. Time for a true display of skill. Because we can go hard this, that deals two to him, and then we can play Glimpse to deal another two. I'm gonna do this so he can't kill me with a deal one in response. So young. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I'm easy. Like my name. Did she just bonk herself on the head with that club? Where are you? I must get out of 
Savior. You have to get me out of here. I think I'm actually going to just bank the spell mana rather than kill this. Because... I would like to trigger Nightfall with our Doom Beast. I guess we're not getting a ton of value off of it, though. Alright, we'll try this. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong because they're passing. They could have Thermo Beam here. Yeah, this is probably wrong. Or this into Go Hard. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm supposed to be a little more conservative there. And just pass back. I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're a go hard deck as well. They're just running different champions than we are. They're on the Vi plan rather than the Ez plan. Uh, yeah, I think we pass as well, actually. We're losing more mana, but not, mu not much more, and there's not much else we want to... I mean, there's really nothing we want to do with our turn. That egg, did it move? I think I'm just going to progress day, honestly. We're gonna try our best to like get at least a couple go hards in the deck before like get this is one. We'll try to play another before we progress day again. Ideally. That's an interesting consideration for a three drop over the Doom Beast. I think I like the Doom Beast a bit more though. I think just the consistency of having like a three two for three that also drains for two. It just it just it's gonna add a lot of consistency to the deck, whereas this can this can hit any any number of things, some of which can be like very game changing. But a lot of others that it, depending on the situation could be inconsequential. But who knows, the way their deck is built, maybe they're running both. Or some number of, of both, you know. Do I try to Ezreal here? Do we think he's actually gonna live? Probably not. I think we start with this. It's like a very non-committal play, so we just kind of pass the turn to him and see what he wants to do, and then maybe that informs our, our decisions a little bit. They're burning more mana than we are, so I'm just going to pass. Both of our decks have a form of inevitability. Um, one could argue theirs is a little bit better because they have a Vi that hits really hard. But I mean, our Ezreal is kind of similar in that sense. I kind of like doing this here because it like spends some of our mana this turn without like being too heavily committed into our action. And we're still holding up this cheap Vengeance, which they don't necessarily know we have, right? They know we play Vengeance in our deck, but they don't know that we have a six-cost one in our hand, necessarily. That said, I do think I want to just finish this off. Like, if they play a Vi and want to swing with her this turn, I'm fine with that. I don't think she's... They've barely been doing anything, so she's not going to level up this turn. We'll try to our best to ensure that we're holding up this Vengeance... Uh, For later turns, though. So we can at least deal with a Vi when she comes down. 
perfectly happy with that. That was a really good turn for us. Our opponent did nothing. You know what? Let's start with this. They finally gonna play like a whale or something, yeah. Now. Is Ezreal worth it now, is the question. They don't have vengeance up, but they could still very easily play several things. <laughs> Let me just take it slow here. Our opponent's taking it slow. We'll follow suit. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I'm actually supposed to play the Doom Beast now that I think about it. Yes, we're not going to get the life gain from the triggers, but I think this was our window to play these Doom Beasts down and hit them really hard. Here comes the punchline. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Well, with that, I think we kill it with Vengeance. They could have another one, but at least this is just more resource efficient. Get back here. Cool. Uh, let's end the round then. Perfect. swing. We'll block. Oh, we can't block. That's unfortunate. They don't know what they're up against. Time for a true display of skill. So what I should have done there do. is I should have played this out for free and play the Doom Beast so I could tank the hit here. So that was a bit of a mistake. I think I need to do this so that I can get in as much damage as possible on our following turn. They're definitely dead if this Ezreal connects and makes it past this uh, combat phase. The nice thing is we have another one hiding in our deck and we have this progress day in hand. So 
So what are they able to do here? I think they, they need to kill the Ezreal. There's no there's no doubt about that. So whether that's like double mystic shot. They, they also kind of need to make sure... Like, these, these alone kill them. Like, this is 8 damage. Okay. So, with that in mind... Which one of these is dying? This one? Um... I think we want to start with progress day. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? I think we're definitely going to rummage. Um, I don't think they can play the lead dross. There's a good chance we can kill him. Eh, yes and no. Now less so. Um, a mystic shot. Ledros is nine, huh? Okay. I think I'm supposed to throw away these vile feasts. This gets rid of a blocker and puts more of these Gohards in our deck. Did they find a Nightfall unit? Depending on what they do, I might actually want to... Darkness hides my they did find a Nightfall unit. Okay. Whatever. 
Whatever the cost. I know what lurks in the shadow. Do I use this free go hard here? Just to maximize our chances of drawing the pack your bags? I think so. I think that's what we need to do. We want as many pack your bags in the deck. That's probably our, our, that's the win con we're playing towards. Cause we're also opening on attacks next turn. I want to be able to draw, cause it's one draw from the top of our deck plus two here from this glimpse beyond we're almost certainly going to be using this glimpse beyond during our combat step this also means that she just can't eat one of our one ones at least i mean it was probably always blocking this two one anyway but my guess is that in addition to this lead draw, they have at least one atrocity in hand possibly another vi the question is what did like the other half of their hand do That's a Doom Bees, that's really nice. That said, pretty sure we're supposed to open on attacks. So we don't get like uh ruinationed. Hide no longer. I think we want to Mystic Shot them in response. Actually, let's do this. Hey, Wasting Light, how's it going? Speaking of light, I probably should turn one on. Looking kind of funky. I look like just this floating head. I'll turn one on while our opponent's deciding what to do. Try to kill him in response here. Yeah. Only, what is it, like two more weeks and the next expansion drops? Should be interesting. I'm sure draft will be like that. The new expansion should really shake up draft. Potentially. Did they say anything about like prioritize? Like how is draft going to work with the new expansion? When card stream, when the expansion drops, either that day or that weekend, I'll, I'll make a point of like doing a pack opening and then we'll do, um, we'll build some decks. I'm not like soup. I'll be honest. I'm not like, no, I don't need to. I have so I have so many in-game resources that I, there's no need. Did they say anything about how large the expansion is going to be? Is it like a, is it a legion size? Cuz even if it's twice as big as a legion's 
Like I have, I have enough. I have enough in-game gold and resources to craft what I need, so I don't need to pre-order. That's probably true for the next two, three expansions, honestly. 81, that's it? Really? Huh. Well, these two are amazing together, so I'll keep that. They're obviously more of a control deck. I don't know how good the Mystic... I don't know how much mileage we're going to get out of Mystic Shot, but it could be fine as a form of reach and deal with an early blocker, potentially. I think the Aristocrat will throw away, since we already have a one-drop. What do you mean? Is the expansion just 81 cards, or... Or not. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Boo, they always have the, the three three on them. New broken elites. Some of the elites look interesting, to say the least. I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say broken, but some of them seem like there's neat things to build around. Others don't seem like they're going to be very impactful. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really looked at or thought about it enough to determine what I would think is broken, though, to be honest. I think, like, the most interesting one I saw was, like, Yamato. Yamato? Yamamoto? The one that, like, gives all of your... Japanese units, basically the Mito Regiment destruction effect. Yeah, that one looks really nasty. Like sweeper insurance. Like warms the heart and lights the way. Uh, do we just bank the spell mana here? I think so. They don't want to swing. Whiskey, no beer. Some sort of Earl Grey wheat beer that I don't recall ever trying. Uh, it's okay. It's not my thing. So it's like a fusion of tea and beer, I guess. Well, I think it says brewed with black tea. Cornflower petals, bergamot, no idea what that is, and coriander. Okay, what, what do we want to do here? I kind of want to play the rummage to find something to do. I probably want the vengeance against the Leona deck. I don't... I, the progress... I don't probably don't need both progress days, but... Let's do this first and see what they do. At least use one of our mana. No, probably not. This is from a uh, Canadian brewer. It's not. It's not. It's not amazing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> How's the beer in Russia? Do Russians brew good beer? I have to assume they do. They probably brew some really awesome beer, actually. Send you a package. Subscri subscribe to the channel for like several months and I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what we want to do here. I kind of want to spend my mana. So let's do that and then pass. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine. So all of like... Europe just has some great alcohol in general, right? <laughs> There we go. All I wanted was so that my doobies could get maximum value. Thank you for attacking. You know what? Sure, we'll play the Elise. They'll the probably play a Leona to stun it. We'll vengeance it. Oh wait, we don't have enough resources. My cat's staring at me like, really, dude? You're talking to your, uh, you're talking to your screen. You're drinking beer. What a sad life you must lead. Says. The cat that just lazes around all day. All you do is eat and sleep. Don't judge me! 
He's meowing at me because he wants food early. Oh, shit. Let's just do this. Our life total doesn't matter that much in this game, and we're getting one out of the possible two that we could get. Why would they have Bastion in their deck? Probably. Punish transgressions. I will. Well, you gotta download the game and uh, give it a try. So the way the game basically works, it's like on each each player plays cards on every turn. There's there's no set turns in this game. Like when your opponent plays a card. I play a card. They play a card. I play a card. The only thing that really signifies whose turn it is, is who has the attack token. And that's the person that can initiate an attack with their units. And then combat is very similar to Magic the Gathering, if you're familiar with that. If you've ever played Magic before, you'd probably be very familiar with this game. So they use their attack token already. We have a lot of mana. Do I want to kill that? I don't think so. I think I gotta save this vengeance for like a Lux. It's too bad we don't have quite enough resources to play this guy. And now if I play, um, she has to see you cast it, right? Yeah, she has to see you cast that much. Time for a true display of skill. Oh, this is a mistake. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Yeah. I should have waited to do this when I could hold up vengeance. No way. I talked about how I couldn't hold up Vengeance, and then I still played out the Ezreal anyway. Lady Elise, where are you? A pretty present you made. To me, it's not. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. To me, it, the theme is like secondary. The game, the gameplay is what I really, really enjoy about this game. The lore, I could give or take. But I'll, I'll be honest, though. After playing this game a lot, I've, I'm kind of getting into the the setting of this game. Not the fantasy setting specifically, but like the lore behind the this certain characters. It's kind of interesting. But again, even even then, it's all secondary to me. I really just really, really like the gameplay. This game is heavily, heavily focused on unit v unit combat, which I love. It's all about like eking out those small percentage plays, those those small advantages, and trying to get as much value out of your units as possible a lot of the time. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we do? Because we do this because it's like fa fairly non-committal. Unwavering strength. We just assume they're never gonna have this Leona, or Lux rather, and kill the Leona. Actually, level up. Um, I fight for the fallen. Actually, level up at least here. They don't have a single combat, which is kind of funny. 
We must all make I don't know that it really does anything, but... Smooth as silk. It's a go hard, which is nice. Ezreal's leveled. The light of my star warms the heavens. There's a pack here, bag, which is nice. It's unfortunate that two of the cards they got created from their, um, uh, from their, uh, what are those things called? Remembrance. Both have tough. We can finish them off with these mystic shots, but it's kind of risky. I think I definitely want to try to kill the one that's gaining them life, though. And if this works, we're going to try to kill the other one, the five one. Hope burns on. Because that means we have a really good open attack next turn. Protect these woods as they protect us. Anything else? <laughs> oh. 
Billy, it's still 30 minutes until dinner time for you. You can wait. I had a feeling he might try to judgment. I don't, I don't even know if this is worth it, honestly. But I kind of need to push damage, so let's do it. Sweet. as much go hard in our deck as we can then we'll progress day hopefully we find something that was worthwhile discarding to the zonite urchin yeah like that Do I put them on judgment number two? Okay, well, if they have judgment number two, we just drew vengeance number two, so. Do they have Bastion? They don't. They're actually dead to... Um, they're actually dead to... Pack your bags if we draw it off of this. I think that means it's worth it, because they don't have any mana up, so they can't heal. And the, the pings that this is doing are kind of irrelevant at this point, so I think I'm supposed to go for the kill here. Yeah, we got it. Good game. I definitely like, uh, oh, I see what you did there, Wasting Light. <laughs> I just, I just realized it now. Um, yeah, I like the revisions we made with this deck. I also like the fact that we're playing it in the normal queue, so we're getting some more interesting matches. <laughs> that could, I don't want to, like, say that the changes we made are directly correlating to the success we're having with the deck, because there's two main factors here that's going on. We'll play one more, and I think we'll, we'll call it a day. Um, but it feel it definitely feels better. Like having the Doom Beast just another body. So again, in a lot of these matchups, just apply pressure when we need to be aggressive, but also stabilize when we need to be controlling has felt really, really good. They're playing the more I guess you could say more common, more successful version of, of our archetype. They're playing a Go Hard Twisted Fate deck. I have to imagine we're the worst go hard deck for a, a number of reasons uh do i want the one one no first of all i think they're more consistent at drawing their go hards than we are and 
come their secondary game plan, I think, is more effective than ours. I like them not blocking here. They're not putting at least dead to Mystic Shot. From the darkness. Uh, how much do I care about this? I could try to be cheeky and like play the aristocrat and drain our own aristocrat. And then, uh, do I have an OnlyFans account? Nope. I don't know what that is. What does leveling the Elise aggressively really do? Not a whole lot, eh? Just skip the block. I thought you'd never ask. Do they have the butcher? This matchup's definitely gonna come down to who finds their go hards faster. But I, I, like I said, I think they're better at doing it. <laughs> and on top of that, I think their secondary game plan is just better, so. That's interesting. I wonder why they didn't do this first. One shot, all skill. You won't suffer long. Clear off. So young. They might play a TF now that they know I've used my fleeting mystic shot. Uh, so we have a backup here for that. Uh, if they pass, though, I think I'm just passing. We'll bank our, all of our mana and they'll lose too. Deal me in. That's right, Elise doesn't get another point of defense. So whatever's hooking Ezreal, I'm going to Static Shock and Static Shock Elise as well. I assume something's hooking Ezreal. He might even do it with the Elise. Got a surprise for him. Sure. Um... I think I'll leave the others for now. Do this to start. See what happens. Unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to both do both of these and level Elise ourselves, which would be very, very nice. They're 
finding their gohards, and we haven't seen a single one of ours yet, unfortunately. It's unlikely we're going to get to attack with Ezreal this turn anyway. So I think we're just going to start by opening attacks when we can get guaranteed value off of the uh, Elise. And then uh, worry about the rest of our turn from here, seeing what they plan on doing. I think it's worth trying to stop them from getting value here. So we'll try. We must all make sacrifices. It's also nice because it keeps a spider around. So we can actually potentially level up Elise. Their third go hard. No way. Meanwhile, we haven't seen a damn one of ours. This is a pretty aggressive, but I think I want to prevent them from drawing as many cards as I can. I think the way we lose this game is uh, losing uh, card advantage. That's a big attack from them, though. Oh, they're not... Uh, to pack your bags I have to do this
Billy, I'm about to lose. It's fine. that this game would come down to whoever finds more of their go hearts first and i feel like we were definitely kind of a little unfortunate uh if we had just one more there we would have had ourselves a game but as it stood we just couldn't couldn't find them we couldn't find them quickly or early enough to like stack them in the deck and make it more likely to actually draw through and get that sweeper that we needed that turn to finish finish the game or at least make it more competitive the the deck still felt pretty good uh, overall. I think it's an it's an interesting way to play Go Hard if you're bored of the Twisted Fate version. I don't know why you would be though. Twisted Fate is just such a fun card. Are you bored of winning? If you're bored of winning, try th but you still want to play with more Go Hard. I guess play this deck. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do that's gonna do it for me, folks. Today, um, we'll catch you guys next week. I will be back with more Runeterra, uh, most likely, and. Uh, We'll see about playing some other games as well, but uh, definitely, definitely gonna give some more Rune Terra play, gameplay. Uh, Diego X nine eight nine, thanks a lot for the follow. I appreciate you stopping by and uh, supporting uh, the content. I, um, for those who may be new watching, I do post all the decks that I play on my YouTube channel. I uh, break everything down by deck type, so you can watch just the matches that you're most interested in. Um, next week, I'm going to be looking to play some Twisted Fate decks of our own, most likely, and uh, I don't know. We'll try. Uh, we'll we'll try something else. We'll see what I can come up with. All right. <laughs> Until then, enjoy the weekend. We'll see you guys next week, and yeah, take care. <laughs>